Right, so here's the thing about sentences. Um, I would love to be able to tell you that do X, Y, Z, do some tapping motions, follow this diet, uh, use these herbal remedies, and then you quickly get rid of your tinnitus. Um, most likely all of these things will fail for most people. Um, I personally was born deaf on one ear and had a hearing aid and a high pitched severe tinnitus in my right ear for 15 years now. But what I will tell you, and today in this video, I want to get a little bit into the truth behind tinnitus. Um, is not rocket science, to be honest, and it's achievable for pretty much everyone to the extent that everyone can live a life where tinnitus is less and less bothersome, where you go back to your old habits, to your old things, and in the end, your brain will, you know, not notice tinnitus as much anymore, and eventually you will habituate, the big thing that everyone talks about. Um, and why is that possible? And why is that the thing? Um, I, I, I can't stop talking about the fact that the, the biggest problem people have with tinnitus, and I mean, I've been working with a lot of people right now in one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, and all of these people had tried sound therapy, um, some have different remedies, different supplements. I mean, it's all good, right? It's by all means, have a good diet, um, uh, be healthy, I, I try to do these things myself, right? Keep fit, all of this. But honestly, when it comes to tinnitus and most people I work with, right, are not only saying, yeah, you know, I have this faint ringing and I just wish it would go away, but other than that, I don't care. Most people are emotionally distressed by their tinnitus, meaning that the tinnitus is associated in the brain with fear, panic, arousal, any of these kind of symptoms that are of course very, very uncomfortable, right? And that then get connected to the tinnitus because we behave in a way that we would like to make it go away. But we don't, I mean, of course we want to make the tinnitus go away because the tinnitus brings us all these feelings, right? And it's only natural that you would want to get rid of these kind of things and feelings. And today I had a session where someone said to me like, you know, I wish I would just stop thinking about this the whole time. And I said, like, have you ever heard of the metaphor, like, don't think of a pink elephant? And I asked him, like, yeah, you, can you think, can you, can you please not think of a pink elephant now for 10 seconds? And of course, it's impossible for the human brain to do. If you want to keep not doing something, it's impossible to actually achieve that task because you're going to be thinking more about it. The same thing is true for tinnitus. If you continuously be on this problem solving approach and trying to sort of get rid of your tinnitus, not hear it anymore with masking or with, uh, controlling it in any kind of way and all these strategies fall short and then you continue to go on Google and so on and so forth and you try to control your tinnitus even more and the more these control strategies fall short the more your brain says oh this is really awesome this is really awful um, I should really be doing even more about this and you go more into the internet you get more anxious more people saying terrible stuff about it and then your connection with your tinnitus turns into full-blown sometimes even panic so what's the opposite well, the opposite is clearly the state where I am. Um, I have tinnitus for 15 years now, since I was 19. I'm turning 34 this year. Um, I, yeah, I, I said at the start, I'm deaf in one ear um, and I've had a hearing aid and a high pitch um, severe tinnitus that I can hear pretty much over anything when I take the hearing aid out. Um, it's very difficult for me to hear when the hearing aid's out. Um, I still can, but it's difficult. And my tinnitus doesn't bother me to the extent that, well, my hearing is, of course, is terrible by now. So that bothers me because, I mean, it's difficult not to hear and, and not being able to participate properly in the world when I don't have the hearing aid in. But my tinnitus, I'm 100% fully habituated and people don't believe me, but I am. So for me, sitting in silence, like, look, I sit down there sometimes and I meditate for a little bit. And for me, like sitting down there in that chair um, in silence is fully acceptable and I don't have a negative emotion about just my tinnitus being present when I sit in that chair meditating. So clearly there is something um, uh, afoot here where we can say that it's not only about the tinnitus but it's about the way we react and respond to our tinnitus that governs whether or not or how much the intent is to which we suffer. And now let me tell you that the truth about tinnitus is that we suffer a lot more from the thoughts and the emotions, uh, the way we relate to our tinnitus, not from our tinnitus itself. Meaning 
you don't suffer from the perception of a physical sound yeah that doesn't give you these thoughts of anxiety and these negative feelings but it's the way that we relate to it right because the doctor says there's nothing we can do the internet is full of terrible stories about what tinnitus does the research and and all these people trying to sell you important and, and expensive hearing aids saying that uh, they will cure your tinnitus it's all not true what will cure your tinnitus and your brain will eventually do that naturally but i mean i, I have to pitch i will pitch something in this video as well our solution i'm um, using cognitive behavior and acceptance and commitment therapy is a very powerful approach to tell you that to help your brain understand that tinnitus is not this big threat that it has started to come to believe and the more it does that the more it comes to the understanding that tinnitus albeit being a nuisance and sometimes being in the foreground and sometimes yes being annoying oh my goodness yes sometimes it's annoying yeah sometimes i sit somewhere and i wish my hearing was better and my tinnitus wasn't as loud 100 percent but then again, most times I don't mind it. I don't worry about it. I don't focus and fixate on it. And therefore I have no negative feelings associated with it. And the problem starts where we try to avoid the discomfort and try to avoid experiencing tinnitus and the feelings and thoughts that come with it, where we go into these controlling and struggle, struggle strategies that in the end will make it worse. Oh, but my tinnitus is terrible. If only it was gone, I could do X, Y, Z in my life. Yeah. I know all of that 100% but let me tell you a few things let me tell you this one thing and it's a nice metaphor and it's part of our program where I can say um, if you go to yourself and you say three times I can't scratch my head 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 you're actually scratching your head while you say I can't scratch my head and you say I can't live with this tinnitus I can't do it anymore I can't stand and bear the noise it will always be terrible those are thoughts that release chemicals in your body, they make you anxious and you of course want to avoid them. But the more you do, the more anxious you get because this avoidance based strategy is not working for getting rid of tinnitus. And I'm going to leave you a little bit out in the, out in the cold now because, because naturally habituation will come in naturally, meaning that eventually you won't always be this anxious about it. You won't always have this overshoot reaction of cortisol and adrenaline, but there, there are things that we can do and acceptance and commitment therapy is a fantastic start and here on my channel there are a lot of videos on how you can get started but if you want to do get a shortcut and I'm saying this because I'm a founder of a young company together with my wife Stefania here are the two of us we uh, founded mytinnitus.club and mytinnitus.club is a platform for people with tinnitus from all over the world and I'm the founder of it and we provide weekly coaching sessions we provide um, in-depth courses so i've just last year end of last year i created an eight weeks course to tinnitus habituation that tells you all the strategies that you can use in order to shift from bothersome to non-bothersome tinnitus and well we would love to see you there um, i'd be excited to have you there and you're supporting me and my young business um, knowing that also i've been going through a little bit of a difficult time so therefore uh, I'm hanging a little bit lower on the coaching. So if you're interested in coaching, there's a waiting list. But apart from that, um, I would love to see you inside our program. Again, we have a weekly coaching session. There's people from all over the world um, with us from Canada, Ireland, um, England, uh, uh, Austria, uh, Australia. So we literally Netherlands, um, Israel, um, uh, other many, many other countries and places. So if you want to learn how to incorporate all these strategies and get behind really doing stuff that works for your tinnitus, not spending so much money on useless hearing aid masks, etc., by all means, wear your hearing aid if you need a hearing aid. But for the sole purpose of masking, I think there's a lot of money wasted. And that's just my personal idea. And I know that some people out there make a lot of money with selling hearing aids to people with tinnitus and it's not as beneficial. So yeah. I'd love to see you over at uh, www.mytinnitus.club. I hope it ma made sense, this video, because tinnitus is most of all our reaction. And the truth behind it is it is our reaction that determines our reality. So our thoughts that determine how we feel about a certain thing and how our brain starts to continuously act towards that thing. Right? Just Google Pavlov conditioning and then you understand how you've become conditioned to respond to your tinnitus. And if you want to break that condition cycle, then you better might join www.mytinnitus.club. My name is Frida. 
I live in Berlin in Germany. Um, I'm the founder of Outrank Tinnitus and MyTinnitus.club. And uh, yeah, I'm a tinnitus coach by heart, by passion and profession. And I hope this video was helpful for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Cheers. Thank you.